a doomsday scenario about this would be that they're buying farms around the country and they're going to experiment with either various insects or various diseases that are spread among crops to destroy all of the crops in America. Okay, now let's move on to the uh, second issue uh, of importance regarding uh, CCB's activities in the United States. And a lot of people may not be aware of this, but they have been purchasing farmland in investing in farmland, buying farmland in the United States. And according to a recent U.S. Department of Agriculture report, Chinese state-owned companies, and basically every company of any size uh, is state-owned by, uh, by uh, the CCP, uh, the, the report says that these state-owned companies have purchased land and it surged from about only 13,000 acres in 2010 to more than 350,000 acres in 2020. In dollar terms, the value of the land in the U.S. now owned by China has gone from $81 million in 2010 to $1.8 billion in 2020. That's an increase of 2,000%. More worrisome than just the amount of land is that some of the land is near U.S. military bases. As an example, the Fu Feng Group, I understand, bought 300 acres of land in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and set up a milling plant there last spring. That plant is a, tw or that's what they say they've done in that plant. That plant is a 20-minute drive from an Air Force base where the U.S. military is scheduled to build systems that will form the background of all of our U.S. military communications around the world. But it might not just be our military secrets that the CCP is interested in. The government-owned Bank of China loaned $4 billion to a Chinese company called the WH Group to buy Smithfield Foods, a leading U.S. producer of pork. So now China controls a large portion of the U.S. food supply, at least the pork supply. Another example of their long-term planning for world domination is here a Chinese billionaire, and Chinese billionaires are always controlled by the CCP, because at a whim, the Chinese can take, the CCP can take away anything they own. So these billionaires will do whatever the CCP says. And they loan, lend him money, $110 million, to buy 15,000 acres of farmland in Texas. And this billionaire says he plans to build a wind turbine farm on 15,000 acres. And that would give, if he, if he did that, that would give him, and therefore the CCP, direct access to the entire electricity grid in Texas, which is, of course, connected to the grid in, in across the United States. So what is, give us your insights, if you have uh, knowledge about what the CCP is doing with the land that they're buying. What, what are their plans? Sir, uh, you're talking about very good topic because the concern about the CCP purchasing, uh, purchasing lands in America is increasing now. And uh, when you talk about the full phone group, actually, I have sent you one uh, report that's done by our team. Uh, even back to February, we got a, a request from the intelligence community. They want us to help to investigate the full phone group and their purpose for purchasing the land, the background knowledge. So what I can tell you is full phone group and the big land they purchased is just a, a small part of the things CCP has done in the United States in this way. The purposes are multiple. So first, when you talk about the food supply, yes, China always want this uh, disrupt the food supply chain in the United States. Mm. And this was already well stated in one uh, People's Liberation Army's textbook, a document which is called Biosecurity and which was revealed by me the first time in the world last year. 
they talked about the biosecurity, which for them, it means their uh, uh, unrestricted bioweapon program that besides using pathogens like virus, bacteria, and the food supply chain is another uh, very useful uh, field to conduct the bio warfare because they can use transgenetic technology mm. to change the uh, plants and also they can uh, introduce this uh, you know the different kind of the uh, insects which would damage the local farms and altogether they want mm. to use the bi uh, biological technology to uh, create the damage to Americans food supply. And once there is lack of food supply, they basically feel they have destroyed America in a very good level. So, so in other words, uh, 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 a doomsday scenario about this would be that they're buying farms around the country and they're going to experiment with either various insects or various diseases that are spread among crops to destroy all of the crops in America. That, that is a doomsday scenario, but it's not impossible. It is not impossible. It is within the realm of science to be able to do that. It's, it's very actually practical. And especially when you check Fufon Group, you will surprisingly find that they connected closely to the military, CCP's military uh, medical academy. And directly connected to certain bioweapon general, uh, bioweapon expert like Yang Ruifu, who was already identified by my team in the Yen reports that Yang is one of the principal bioweapon experts involved into COVID-19 development in China. And and, so, and and if you, I hate to say the beauty of this, but the, the but, uh, but, the horror of this is that unlike a hot war where you can know where the missile came from because we have tracking oh. satellites around the world, you, you can't really know where a virus came from. You can suspect, but even in the early uh, early days of the COVID, nobody, you know, you, you were saying it came from China, but most of the, uh, most of the uh, Democrats and most of the media said that was nonsense, right? It came for, from bats, but it wasn't really a weapon. And the same thing would be true about attacking our food supply. It, it would be very difficult to prove that, uh, that these insects uh, were developed intentionally to destroy America or that the, uh, the, the various uh, diseases that plants get were sent by China. It would be difficult to prove and therefore difficult to respond against them. It's, it's incredibly uh, brilliant. Yeah, in this way, that's why Xi Jinping always said we should have the bottom line thinking, which means you should break through the bottom line, which means you should use everything you can mm -hmm. do and don't think about humanity, but just to achieve the goals of Xi Jinping and the CCP. So in this case, once they control the scientists like Dr. Fauci in the, uh, in the agriculture field, so they definitely can create the nature origin theory again, which will be very difficult to prove. However, this is just the one purpose. And the other purpose include that, uh, you know, that some land is very close to the American military base. So CCP would set up their equipment there, set up their teams there to collect the all these kind of signals, data from Americans' military base. And also they can do something to disrupt the uh, practice in the American military if it's necessary. And also, for example, if American government need to enlarge the military base, uh, for example, in the war, in the war time, they may need to rent the land from CCP. And that means basically CCP can directly uh, directly control the things happened in that land in American military. These kind of tactics are very hidden, very cunning, but very dangerous for American security. Yes, and it's because we're a free country. In most countries, uh, or in many countries, 
You're not allowed. Foreigners are not allowed to own land. They're not allowed to own land. You have to be a citizen to own land. And, and there are countries where nobody can own land. The government owns it all, and you're just getting a lease on it. But in America, we let anybody virtually buy anything. And uh, so this is going to be very, very difficult, even if the government knew, even if we all knew that the China's buying land, and we do know these are Chinese companies, then there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs>